okay guys uh, it's me again uh, let's uh, yeah let's finish our model not in this part but in this part we will start uh, creating the skin shader so let's move to shading tab which is here and go to the front view this is look dev mode and we don't want to look dev mode we want to go to eevee and we can also uh, toggle the overlay so we will not see anything except of uh, the uh, the torso so here uh, okay when I imported my female torso it imported with the it come came with the material that I, I made and we don't want that so we can delete every everything that is not necessary and this should be the, the setup that you you get when you when you open the shading app here so if you pick the turtle it should be something like this okay so now uh, I hope you understand what this principle PSDF is basically a shader and it has a lot of properties that you can uh, change and it will affect our model so you can define how metallic it is how rough it is uh, what is the base color etc and yeah and we will use it to to make the skin shader so first uh, let's change the color to the correct one so basically we we can change it either here or we can add another node shader uh, which will also have the base color there and we can change the color there and there's a reason why we add it and i will explain you in a few seconds so click shift a to add a, a note and search for uh, diffuse psdf basically this is the shader that contains only the information of the color so if you connect uh, the output to the base color you should see that yeah it came um, what is this color? <laughs> purple? Yeah, maybe purple. Or pink. So, uh, the reason is that because, uh, as you can see, the output here is the color of green, which means this is the shader. And yellow means that this is the color. So we have to change uh, the shader to the color. And for our lag, there's a note that will do it so click shift 8 search for RGB and it will be no it, it's search for shader to RGB I don't know why it didn't came pop on my, my screen before but yeah share search for shader to RGB and this one if you drag uh, between the the link it will automat automatically connect the outputs to inputs and wait guys a bit give me a second i i need to take a sip of the water okay i'm again here so we have the ba base color connected and now you can change the color of the model so we want we want it to look more like a skin so change some change to some warm orange skin so uh, around this one is nice this color is nice so here you have the values and you can copy if you want if you want exactly the same result as me or you can use your own color so now we also want to add our ambient occlusion and basically ambient occlusion is the black areas between our crevices 
and to do that you have to add another node which is called uh, yeah, ambient occlusion so search for it and you will have it here and basically now we want to mix our color with the ambient occlusion color so we have to add one more node which is called mix what the hell delete this because i don't know why it uh, pop search for mix mix rgb and this will mix two colors together so if you uh, connect the output to the color one and the ambient occlusion color to the color two then you can connect the color output of the mix to the base color that we created and as you can see now our model is quite washed out because yeah we mix those colors together and if you want to preview how how what what no notes the what the current notes does to our model you can just basically click control shift left click on any uh, note to see what effect it does to our model so here if i click shift control shift left click on the diffuse you can see that it uh, give us the color and here if i click on ambient occlusion with the same shortcut you can see this is what we get from ambient occlusion and basically you can see that there's no black uh, between the crevices now and that's because we have to enable the ambient occlusion here and if you enable it in the properties of the render camera you can see that yeah there's some black here so now we can also add one more node which is called color ramp and basically this will make our ambient occlusion stronger so let's preview the color ramp so control shift left click and if you drag the Uh, be sure to have the color output connected to our viewer so if you click with click it one time it should be color and if you click the second time it should come back to alpha and be sure to make to have it on color so now you can see the black spot here and if we drag the left side handle more to the right you can see there's more ambient occlusion added so here now we have uh, in this area black and also in this area but uh, there's a lot of black here because there's a, a, a huge uh, I don't know crevices here so yeah we can tune it down a bit like this this is okay I think because you can still see the the other ambient occlusion and now we can finally connect the color of the color ramp to the second color instead of ambient occlusion directly. And now you can see that it gives us an effect but uh, not the effect that we want because they are mixing to, uh, the color to together and we only want to darken the, the crevices. And to do that we have to change the blend mode from mix to multiply and it will basically multiply the dark values with the, the base color that we created and white doesn't give any effect so this is the, the perfect blend mode that we want and you can change the factor to one if you want uh, ambient occlusion to be more visible but I will leave it at 0.5 we can change it later so it doesn't matter and basically let's see the principle PSDF yeah so control shift on principle PSDF to see the result and here's the result of our our uh, material and it already looks nice we can collapse everything here because it will 
give us more space to work on and yeah we will add more notes later so this is very good practice to collapse everything okay so now maybe we can add some bumps so to do that you have to add a texture which is procedural procedural you click shift date search for texture and click on Voronoi and now we can preview this so control shift yeah that's click so I, I hope you now know the shortcut and you can see what it does to our model basically it's a this looks like a cell um, cell or points that we can use to to fake bumps on our skin so here you have the property uh, called scale and if we increase the value you can see that they are smaller and smaller and if i remembered correctly i used number 400 which is quite big but yeah as you can see we have those small dots here that will be our uh, bump so to do that we have to add one more note which is called bump so if now if you connect the color uh, output to the height of it and you connect the output of the normal to normal you can preview now the principal bsdf and you can see that yeah we have our bumps but they are they are too strong so let's think, decrease the strength to i don't know 0.2 let's see how it looks okay 0.2 is okay or maybe slightly less i would say 1.15 yeah it's okay and now as you can see the the pics that we created the bumps they are going uh, inward and we want them to go out, out outward because it will look more like a skin so there's a nice uh, box called invert so if you invert it you can see that everything is now inverted and yeah we have basically a bump that looks like a skin yeah so it, it's very nice okay guys so uh, i will leave it uh, as it is for now and we will go to the next part where we will make it more stylized and we'll add more more shaders so save your projects and see you in the next one.